Hi there. Uh, I'm a little nervous doing this, but <clears throat> I think I've decided to start doing videos. Uh, James King has really kind of influenced me in that direction, and I figured I would do this, so here I am. All I'm really going to do today is I'm going to show you my shop. The reason I'm making this my first video is because a lot of people out there, they seem to think that you have to have this magnificent shop with every tool you'd ever need in order to do woodworking. Well, that's not true. It's just simply not true. I make things any, range anywhere from arbors to planters to dovetail boxes to fine furniture. And I don't have a huge shop. As a matter of fact, let me show you my shop. So this is my shop. It's my front porch. And it's great. I mean, it, it, it does what I need it to do. And it has everything that I need. There's a few things that I wish I had. But I make do with what I have. As you can see, I have a completely unobstructed view to Pikes Peak. And over in this direction, somewhere behind the trees and the clouds, is Cheyenne Mountain. So between Cheyenne and Pikes Peak, we have these mountains, hills, whatever you want to call them. Here in Colorado, they're more hills because we have so many 14ers. And what I mean by that is mountains that are 14,000 feet or higher. This is my shop. However, this is not how I work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a time-lapse video of how I make this work. And I'll explain why I do what I do after a show, after the video. So, here we go. Okay, so this is how I usually set up. You can see I have my planer and my joiner right here, and down below is my dovetail jig. I pull that out and clamp it down to my bench whenever I'm getting ready to make dovetails. And under there's on this side is my router table. And what I usually do is I usually plug this power strip into that cord over there, and then plug the machines into the power strip, and away we go. Uh, this is my table saw, nothing fancy. Um, crosscut sled. A lot of you probably recognize this crosscut sled. It's actually James King's version. The only one I don't, the only thing I don't have on it right now is the hold down clamp, but I've got that inside and I'll bring that out in a little bit. Uh, most of my table saw stuff, my combination blade, my zero clearance insert, and the zero clearance inserts for the crosscut sled. And this is my outfit table. I'm still working on it. It's not done yet. So it's a bit of a mess, but what I'll do is I'll clean all this off and it'll be my outfit. I had to build a new one because in order to accommodate the crosscut sled, I didn't want to cut grooves or anything in it because everything has to be mobile, obviously. A uh, project I'm currently working on, may or may not do a short video on that one. And this is my main workbench. And again, nothing fancy. Uh, I just threw a bunch of 2x4s and 4x4s and some plywood together and got a good flat surface. And so, yeah, this is my setup. So, yeah, this is my shop. And like I said, I'll explain to you why I do what I do. Um, well, for one, I have neighbors. And <laughs> we all know that, you know, woodworking causes, creates a lot of sawdust. And, this is one way to help keep it contained. Another reason is I live in Colorado. Well, Colorado is 
a lot closer to the sun than most of the rest of the country and we get a lot of it here in Colorado Springs and back in the video when I was putting everything up you could probably see the sun shining right down on the porch and yeah that's not conducive to fishing and a lot of other things it, it tends to heat up the wood and causes it to warp a little more especially when you're using pine and things like that not so much with hardwood but with pine it does and yeah it's just a way to help keep everything contained it's a way for me to keep it heated in the winter because um, it, it contains the heat and doesn't let it just blow out you know I would love to just <laughs> be able to see Pikes Peak every time I look up but I gotta do what I gotta do and yeah it's a lot of work but I like it it, it allows me to work I mean we don't have a separate garage uh, we don't have a garage at all actually um, we're hoping to eventually build a shop but for now it's just out, not in just not in the cards uh, we do have a basement but <laughs> I'm six foot five and the basement comes to here on me so that's not real conducive to being able to work <coughs> um, so yeah this is me this is my shop and I'm hoping to start making a lot more of these videos and hopefully I can just share some knowledge that I have that maybe others don't. One suggestion that I would have for you if you wanted to get started and you really don't know where to start is start checking out some of the other YouTube YouTubers, you know. Um, James King, Mark Spagnolo, The Wood Whisperer, Steve Ramsey, The Weekend Word Worker, uh, Nick Ferry, David Picciuto, The Drunken Woodworker, um, Cats Moses. Uh, there's a lot of them. Just go out there and check them out. Um, I'll put a link to some of the ones that have actually helped me and inspired me down in the link, down in the description. Um, yeah, just go check them out. So, yeah, this is my shot. This is me. And I guess I'll talk to you next time. For now, I'm going to start working.